Hi, my name is Dimitri. I don't know if you know, do you know me? I make videos on the internet about productivity and whatnot. And I want to show you something that I've been doing for a while that has enhanced the quality of my content significantly, but also saves my editor a significant amount of time, which brings time back into the business. So first and foremost, when you see me on YouTube messing around or going in Notion and you see me do this Zoom situation right here and it follows the cursor, you might be thinking, hey, that's a really good edit. Good job, Vinny or Dimitri. You probably, I don't know if you know I've had an editor. Regardless, that is not me editing. That is, as you can see here, this is my screen recording software on the side. Yup, I know there's Inception going on right now. But this is a Python script. That's right. Python is something that we don't talk about enough. And I'm just literally raising awareness about Python. I found this video a while back from Salta92. And it, it is a great video. I'm just going to give full credit. Like, I don't even need to make a tutorial about this. Just go and check it out. But the fact that I'm able to do this for like 50% of the zoom edits and then the other ones like Vinny will have an arrow or like, you know, zoom in on the thing in the edit. The fact of the matter is we're in sync without needing to be in sync and I'm just upset that people don't know this exists. And a lot of the times people get nervous because you know there's like coding related with Python. But in general, there are different things that you can do. First and foremost, I'm going to point out the fact that ChatGPT is someone you can talk to. Well, it feels like someone, but something you can talk to about how to improve your systems using different Python scripts installed onto your Windows machine. For example, somebody made a Python script on how to do this which seems so menial, but if you've ever tried to edit something that follows the cursor, you would know that that is a 12 out of 10 hack. That plus literally having a little cursor highlighter has gotten my editing workflow to look a lot cleaner. And there are a myriad of different things you can do with Python. So for example, if I pulled up ChatGPT and just asked it, what are five different ways I can use Python to improve my productivity? And while it's going to spit out some technical jargon in here, it's just going to spark your ideation, right? And I remember hearing a friend talk to me about how you can automate repetitive tasks. I believe you can probably do some Python related scripting for things like different uh, Photoshop edits for different general data entry and web scraping for a business. And you can probably ask ChatGPT if I wanted to do this thing, rate me how to do this in Python. And now we have this. And if you integrate it with APIs, as it very plainly points out, you can create custom solutions to streamline a lot of your work. If I wasn't a creative, I think I'd probably use this more uh, as I get more towards the business side of things. Instead of just making content, I probably will explore this kind of stuff more. And now that you have this conversational generative AI in front of you, can you please give this a try or just YouTube stuff or Google it? This is a productivity hack that you probably were like, well, how can I really save them 30 hours a month? Well, guarantee you one hour of editing per video was doing this before, which is just kind of dumb. Don't need to do it. But you do need to check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.